Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum and Kaplan Cycles, and this is an absolutely gorgeous Honda SL125 1972 model um, purchased from a mechanic who lovingly cared for this thing and evidenced by the way it runs. It runs absolutely amazing. Uh, it's in beautiful shape. Tack and Speedo are in great shape. The um, front end's in excellent shape, and probably the best thing about it, other than that it's original paint survivor, is the fact that it runs awesome and it sounds awesome. Motorcycles, newer used, big or small, we buy them all. One to 1,000, any make, model, or condition, give us a call. Has the original exhaust on it. Go ahead, fire it up, Kenny, bring it for a quick ride. Starts first kick every time. Um, it's a five-speed street legal model that uh, you can register for the street and ride it around. They're a lot of fun. We bought this up to rice -arama. We're riding around the pits up there. Go ahead, get, take it for a rip, Kenny. Little single cylinder, four stroke. They're notoriously reliable, bulletproof. This one should last another 40 years, no problem. We take care of it. So the first thing he did when he got it is he took the gas tank off and uh, cleaned the tank out did the metal rescue process and then used the POR15 tank sealer so the inside of the gas tank has been conditioned. He rebuilt the original petcock using all new gaskets and seals, a, uh, a petcock rebuild kit. It's got brand new fuel lines on it and the carburetor has just been serviced, completely taken apart, cleaned. Uh, he said he put a new float in it, the original float was defective, so it's got a brand new gaskets on the carb and a complete carb rebuild kit. The uh, engine then was had the um, valves adjusted, the cam chain adjusted, and the oil changed, and a new spark plug installed, so and a brand new battery. So it's been completely serviced. In addition to the um, to the mechanical stuff I mentioned. It has a brand new set of tires, so both front and rear wheels came off. The rear brakes, he, he told me he put new brake pads in it, so I haven't taken it apart to confirm that, but he said it had new brake pads. Brand new 350 by 18 rear tire. Look at the nubs on the tire, 275 by 21 on the front. We might have ridden it maybe five miles around here since we got it, but they're absolutely brand new tires. That includes new tubes and a new rim strip, so those will be good for a long, long time. The um, lights work great, high beam, low beam and the brake light work excellently. It even has original grips on it. Check this out, Kenny. It has original, what is that, 40, 47 year old grips? 46 year old grips on it. Yeah, so it's, it's, almost, it's almost a 50 year old motorcycle. The original paint on the tank, look at the gas tank on this thing. I don't see a single ding on this side. This is original paint and graphics. There's a little bit of patina on there, a little bit of uh, surface pitting on the paint, but uh, entirely acceptable for a 50 year old model. And there's one little, one little tiny ding in the tank right here. The inside of the tank, take a look at this. Look at the gas cap, it's got a new seal on it. The inside of the tank looks brand new. Completely serviced by a pro with a POR15, even the, the ridge up around the cap. The inside of the tank looks far better than the outside. So hallmark of a well-serviced bike. The original seat cover is in great shape. The original uh, tail light is in excellent condition. The rear fender is in beautiful shape. The original shocks. The only item I found on the bike that's not to be original is the tires. Everything else appears to be 100% original. Um, Kenny, is there anything you'd like to say about this bike? I mean, you just took it for a rip. Yeah, well, this is hands down, I will say, the nicest running SL125 that we've had through in some time. Um, they usually usually don't come through the shop this well, too, unless, of course, Mark's been, <laughs> been through it. So we can get it shipped very affordably. Contact us for a quote at 860-454-7024. And uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Yeah, it's October 13th and 14th, Rocktoberfest. Down here at the New England Motorcycle Museum, it's a grand opening event. Battle of the Bands in the largest antique motorcycle show. Captain America's got his new outfit on too, buddy. So it's about to get real. You know when I break out the helmet, it's time to send it. Ha ha! I'm gonna jump my BMX bike <laughs> over four motorcycles. Gonna send it. So, let me do a quick demo on it. It's a uh, Absolutely a classic that's going to keep going up in value. Uh, this is uh, from the Beach Boys era, um, before the time of all the millennials. And uh, I can tell you there's not a kid today that wouldn't have a blast riding. This is a bike the whole family can enjoy from uh, 200 and 
40 pound grandpa down to uh, 80 pound 14 year olds are gonna have a blast on this thing. So it's um, and take it anywhere. So I'm gonna take it for a little ride. Good luck bidding on it and God bless America. Fires up first kick every time. This is not exhaust note on this thing. sure if Kenny had a huge smile on his face riding it. I don't think he did, but it's hard not to smile riding this thing. It's a blast, so great little uh, little wheelie machine. Take it through the woods, down the street, down the trails, anywhere you want to go. It's bulletproof. So I hope it goes to a good home. Keep the shiny side up. Good luck bidding and God bless.